Yo, Elliot, I'm madly in love with a woman and she's madly in love with me. We would like to get married and spend our lives together, but it turns out that we are distant relatives on the family tree. And although it's very, very distant, and we're not even blood relatives, according to our families, this is something that's very taboo. And if we go along with it, we're going to ruin our family's reputations. What do I do? Yo, Elliot. <laughs> Well, my friend, the very first thing I would offer you is a acknowledgement of your courage for even asking this question because marrying relatives is totally taboo no matter what culture you are in. So this is one of those issues that most people are going to have judgments against you with. Even though she happens to be long, 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 long time relative, meaning that there aren't even blood ties like you said. You happen to believe or think or project the fact that your family and people around you are going to have a hard time with this and that their reputation will be shattered because of your love. And although your experience with your culture leads you to believe that this is the fact, one thing I would always offer in absolutely every situation is that you never know exactly what's going to happen. Meaning that you can set yourself up to fail by Imagining that they are going to reject you when, in fact, within their hearts are the seeds of love and evolution and growth and maybe they will receive you. So it's difficult for us to actually get a gauge on what's going to happen in our life if we make judgment based on past results. Maybe you've seen this happen before to someone else, but it doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you. Stay open in that way. I would invite you. The other thing that I would offer is that by remaining open in this particular way, you ease your heart by being honest. Rather than running away and marrying your love and having everyone wonder what the fuck happened to you, you open your heart and you lay your burden aside. You get it off your chest, they say. And when you do that, you are open to the infinite possibilities of how they may respond to you. Now, let's say that you do open up because that's my suggestion, be honest. Honesty always alleviates our pain, even if it brings external resistance, even if other people fight with you. At least you were honest, you were pure, and you were honoring your heart in that way. Integrity trumps all. And let's say that you do offer your honesty and you profess your love and you mention you want to marry this woman and people have a fucking hard time with it and they start chattering and start fighting and start bickering and start chastising you what you ought to begin doing immediately is start thinking about the bright days ahead the bright days ahead the brilliant days ahead the loving days ahead the great things that are going to transpire for you when you create your brand new life with your woman. Thinking about the old, thinking about the traditions of the past and the people who are stuck on them is almost akin to the parable when Jesus is confronted with the fact that a family member has just died and he is out preaching his gospel and people say, hey, Jesus, come back. Your family needs you. And he says, let the dead bury the dead. He's on a mission. He has a worldwide vision. He has big hopes and dreams for himself and humanity, so much so that he can't be worried about what the old warriors in the background are saying. I am all for tradition and honoring your family, but I am also even more for evolution and growth and progress. And one of the things that are inevitable for progress, inevitable for growth, inevitable to bake an omelet, you got to break some eggs. The old world, old ideologies, old inhibitions and dogmas and taboos are on their way out. We are living in revolutionary times where things that we believe today, things that we take for granted today, things that we hold on to with our dear life as if it's truth through and through 
are going to dissolve. They're going to change. We're rising up. And just like Jesus, with his expanded vision for what's happening in the future, he had to, and you have to, let the dead bury the dead. Let the old carry the old. Let them dissolve or sink with the shaft as the wheat rises with you and the love that you have in your heart. Love conquers all, but love must be creative. Don't be naive when I say love conquers all. Don't think it's going to be a walk through the roses. Don't think it's going to be an easy path for you by following your heart and being with your lover. You've already been prompted to that journey, but what you ought to know is that journey is going to be hard. You're not just following your heart. You're not just loving your lover and having her love you. You are carving a brand new path in your culture, in your family. You're breaking old bonds and mental slavery and lighting a brand new pathway for generations to come. Think about your children and your children's children and the freedom that you're creating for them by breaking out of this mental prison that you find yourself in. It's not just about you, bro. You're a pioneer, you're a pathfinder, you're a leader. You must do this, not for you, not for your girl, not for the love that swells up in your heart, but for future generations and for the light that's rising. You must grow stronger. You must follow your heart. You must exercise your unique, divine blueprint in this lifetime, or it'll be a waste. Done. <laughs>